Sign off last night, sort of life got in the way of the vlog, etc. Um, it's the next day now, the 16th of March. I've just dropped Fiona in to meet Lauren, they're gone into town shopping. I wasn't about to go shopping, so I'm heading up to where um, my dad is uh, buried. Uh, he died 20 odd years ago, 20 years ago. So I haven't been up there in a while. It's a beautiful spot, so I'm gonna maybe send up the drone and Get a couple of shots of that and then meeting up with donna and the kids later on in the afternoon and we'll see what we can get up to then that building there is the county hall it was the tallest building in ireland for a long time i don't know is it still the tallest it's i mean it's big it's only 50 it's 15 stories i think it's 15 or 13 stories thereabouts but um it used to be the tallest building in Ireland. Not sure if it still is. I just landed at the cemetery. What I didn't anticipate, of course, was that there'd be a funeral taking place. I remember the day that my dad was buried. It was a scorching hot day. Absolutely roasting hot day. Um, and we had to shoulder the coffin down this path. This is a very, very old cemetery. The newer part of the cemetery where the other funeral is taking place is going on just over the wall there. This is a place, it's called Curraheen. It's been a while since I was here. Um, I just, I don't come here every time because I, I don't get anything from it. Um, but it's nice to visit every so often. So that's where my dad and grandparents on his side are buried, plus some of my aunties and uncles and stuff. Um, on a sunny day during the summer it's a beautiful beautiful place it really is peaceful um, it's a, just a teeny weeny bit too cold and it's a teeny weeny bit too breezy and windy but on a sunny day it's absolutely fabulous here um, oh, yeah, I'm in love with you. my dad died in June was this it was June yeah June the 2nd I can never remember was June the 2nd or June the 3rd but it was a scorcher of a day, and this looked amazing. I'm anticipating a phone call from my wife to come and get her and hand over my car to her so they can go more shopping. Um, so I'm going to head back into town and then I don't know what I'm going to do.
time I've been up in the county hall, you can see the whole way across the city from here. It's not the tallest building in Ireland anymore. It's the second tallest. It was for many, many years, but it's not anymore. The building celebrates 50 years in existence or on completion this year. It was built in 1968 and it's only, I think, in, since 2006 or 10, the top floor, floor number 16, became a conference centre and there's a restaurant as well up here somewhere. So we just grab the lift now and head back. People in Cork are so lovely. They're just so nice. The Kingsley Hotel behind me. That was built on what was an open air swimming bath. The River Lee would flow through it. Um, I remember going there as a child, not a child, a teen, young, young teenager, I suppose. My dad told me that he used to go there as a teenager or a teen, young teenager as well. He's come over from the north side, because this is the south side. He'd come over from the north side. And back then the top diving board would be accessible to people to dive off of. But when I was a kid, you couldn't. It was only maybe halfway up. On Patrick Street, waiting for Lauren and Fiona. Don't know where they are. They weren't where they're supposed to be or where I thought they would be. And because Lauren isn't a driver, um, she doesn't understand you can't stop in the middle of the street and block traffic. So I'm now parked in a taxi rank and I'm waiting for a taxi guy to come along and tell me to sling my hook as it were and uh, I don't know where they are, so I'm just stuck here now. Don't curse, didn't curse. Family friendly vlog, that's what this is. I relented and went shopping. So we're here in Wilton. We're waiting on the kids, so I'm gonna try and surprise the kids when they arrive and kind of accidentally, deliberately bump into them. So I just spotted the kids. That was our trip in the park. We had to leave because this lovely man, this lovely man is, this lovely man is, is not locking up the park for the evening. So we're gonna go home and try and get dinner. Come on, my hands are frozen. Hold his hand. I can't see. Hold on there, let's wait for your man to pull away because I can't see. Oh. 
So I got my St. Patrick's Day hat for tomorrow. 